Four things that I love. Food, music, history, and dancing. My name is Serene Mabe. I'm 28 years old. Currently, I'm running a pop-up in New Orleans called Dakar Nova, which is essentially connecting the bridge between Senegambians and the folks from New Orleans. It's a restaurant that I wanted to work for for a very long time, and, I, and then I, I came to a realization that there's no other restaurant in the world that do what I want to do. So therefore, I created Dakar Nova. My mother owned a restaurant in New York, in New York City. Uh, the restaurant closed before I was born, and she used to cook Senegalese food. Everything that she used to do was very intimate, few people, uh, and then she used to cook food from Senegal. As a kid growing up, my, my house, every single time was different folks from different backgrounds would come to my mom's house to eat. As I began to take this culinary thing very seriously, I realized that I wanted to cook how my mom used to do it. Understanding that history really inspired me to create Dakar Nola, you know? So like, my food is modernized Senegalese food, which is show a little bit of Senegal, a little bit of New Orleans, but evolve with different techniques that I learned throughout working for all these missions our restaurant throughout the years. Chebujan is the natural dish of Senegal. Cheb means rice, jun means fish, because Senegal is around the coast. Fish is something that we're able to access fish every single day. And rice is something that we have often, you know. We have this rice in Senegal called Cheb Mbai. It's grown in this region called Kazamas, which is just like the little bit in the, in the southern part of uh, Senegal. The actual rice itself is what makes the dish pop in. The rice dish is called Jolof. Jolof is a, a tribe in Senegal. They're called, known as the Jolof and they were the one that truly originated the, the actual dish jollof. But each single country have their own version of what jollof really is. You know, because of slavery, that dish had traveled so many places. Uh, you know, even Louisiana have a dish called jambalaya, which is very similar to a jollof rice. You know, even South Carolina have a dish called um, Hop and John, very similar to that. That dish is so simple, but yet has so much story. So jollof is something that tells a story where I'm from, but also how the dish evolve throughout the years. If I'm saying I'm making chebu gin, if I'm gonna serve at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m., I need to be in the kitchen at 8. If not, it's not gonna come out right. My mother taught me, if you can't do it right, you just just don't don't even bother, you know? So it's like, if I'm gonna cook chebu gin, I gotta do it right. We steam our rice within the same pot because we grow up, didn't have any ovens. We, had, we created a little fire, we got one pot, we had to cook all our vegetables, the sauce, the protein, and the rice within one pot. Throughout the cooking process, you add into it because back home where we believe that you can't just start cooking, season everything at the beginning or just season everything towards the end. You have to cook within layers. So every time you add something, you need to add something to the pot. That's how we build flavors. So the past 10 years, I worked at some of the best restaurants in the world just to learn how they cook or how they do a certain technique and add that into the style of food that I want to cook. I think to, to build love, you need to have that one, maximum two pots and build that layer. It just takes time, but when it's ready, like, you know, everyone in the neighborhood know that, you know, Jollof is ready. Everyone can smell it, you know, so um, that's, that's what I do.